All right, so the coach Ross, we attack the gym. Now, you guys have been wondering about, you should have been taught, if your instructor's any good, about the use of this technique, this position, this posture right here. You guys, I don't know what the hell y'all call it, cocorinha, uh, it's correctly called one of many names, like the, like the ngao tumbili, which means the monkey posture, the simian posture. All right, now, some of the applications of it, the solo, would be something like this. You're facing an opponent, you know, uh, who's going to be trying to attack you around the head and knee level. You want to keep your head around your own knee level, or, or between your knee and your top of your pocket level, which is where the sock, where this, where this ball is. So, you'll be in a position keeping your head about that area, keeping your guard up as you're moving here. Moving around here, moving around here, moving around, moving, going the opposite direction, moving around, moving around, moving around. This, this floating guard, floating guard here, and the shifting guard here like this. All right, now, its application is as follows. Let's say, I'm coming to you now, and I'm going to use my cousin Phil here, here as, as, the, as the example. He can, he can shoot knees at this point, boom, right here, to defend, boom, and he can punch also, boom, right here. So the idea is, while you're moving, the knees are coming, and the punches are coming, boom. This is where it shows the why it's important to be able to have the movements to be able to shift, all right? How come your teacher didn't teach you this? It's because he didn't, he, she, or they didn't learn the authentic art. Come to my website, attachiumcapoeira, googlesites.com, support us. Go to my YouTube, do the same thing. Let's go to work.